Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use the spider graph tool in MapInfo Pro to map relationships between tables based on a designated field. In this example there is a table consisting of three warehouses and the table stores at each service by one of these three warehouses. The store table has a warehouse field that lists the relevant warehouse for each store. The goal here is to graphically depict the relationship between each store and its warehouse, including the distance if required. Uh, the SpiderGraph tool was created for this purpose. So how do we find the SpiderGraph tool? If you go to your Home tab in MapInfo Pro, then go to Tool Extensions, and if you haven't already registered the tool, then you can go to the Registered tab. Find spider graph, double click on it, and then the spider graph will appear in your running list. If you double click on spider graph again, this will launch the tool. So the first thing we need to select is our origin table. Uh, for this example, we're going to select our warehouses tab, and then we need to select the column that we want to join between the two tables, the stores and the warehouses. Um, as the common denominator in this case is warehouse, we select warehouse and this side uh, and the destination table is obviously our stores table and then we find the corresponding column here which again is warehouse. You then got the option to select the columns to include in the resulting table by default it lists all of these so let's just select them all. Uh, you've got an option here for units and you've got the usual unit options uh, you can choose to color code the results so it's more obvious on screen to see the, the different results uh, and also add a line distance so you can uh, graphically see the line drawn between each store and its corresponding warehouse. Uh, when you're happy with this, if you create, create lines, it will then prompt you to save the results in a table. So I'm going to call mine spider if and click save. And this is now created our results. So if we have a look at the browser window, so we'll go to new browser and spider rife, click OK. And let's just close down our tools. And we don't need those at the moment. As you see here, it's got all the information. So it's got each warehouse, uh, the state, um, sales, if that was filled in, um, and some other details here. Now, if we look, go back to our mapper, we can now see that each warehouse has got a link to each individual store. So that's how you can use the spider graph tool in MapInfo Pro to map relationships between tables based on a designated field. Thanks for watching.